We're back with the power panel. Stockwell, Tiffany, Francoise, and Katie. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he's not convinced the timing is right for Quebec's plan to cut its immigration numbers. Premier Francois Legault made good on an election promise today, tabling his intent to reduce economic immigration to the province from about 50,000 to 40,000 people. The Prime Minister says he's been hearing from businesses that are concerned about a labor shortage. I'll read exactly what he said. What I hear across Quebec, the Prime Minister said, is that entrepreneurs and businesses are concerned about a lack of labor. I am not sure it is the best time to reduce the number of people who come. How much of an issue, Francoise, is this for the Prime Minister? I believe that there is some federal cooperation obviously needed in order to reduce those levels. And I kind of like the, the tone that uh, the uh, Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs for the federal government, Dominique Leblanc, uh, is taking on, on the issue because every time the, the, the media is going after him and what do you think of the plan, we're working with Quebec, you feel like he's uh, uh, being the diplomat in, in all this. I'm sure it doesn't necessarily please them, but at the same time, they have to be realistic. François Legault and his government was elected on that exact promise, and they're uh, making good of that promise, so that's one thing. Now, you can say, yes, on one hand, our Minister of Economy uh, says uh, uh, we need those uh, people to fill the job. There's, uh, there's a lack of, uh, of um, high-qualified high uh, immigrants. We need to, to use them. But what the message from the uh, CAC is in the, on the issue is we already have a lot of immigrants who are um, not employed right now. Uh, we haven't taken good care of them. Uh, the previous Liberal government used to get them in, but not take care of them once they were in, in, uh, on our territory. Now we're going to be more intelligent about the whole matter, try to aim at specific targets, uh, have people, they even lower, and that's going to be our debate. Maybe not here, but us in Quebec, our debate was will be the fact that François Legault's government is uh, lowering down the number of immigrants that will be having French as their first language or their okay language to to come in and I already see on social media the uproar it's ca it's causing in the province so they think they're, they're trying to be more uh, targeted more intelligent about the way they're doing things so that's why it's hard for the federal government knowing what Quebec is all about and their view on a lot of matters surrounding immigration to start a real big battle might bode well uh, elsewhere in in Canada but uh, if you look at the numbers uh, uh, clearly and you see what's behind it and it's not an anti-immigrant measure but a more let's take care of them and have them find good jobs once they are on our territory but Tiffany it is very much different than the federal government's message they just came out not long, I think within the last month talking about increasing immigration levels especially economic immigration levels in the country how do they say that out of you know one side of their mouth and then out of the other say, OK, Quebec, you can cut your levels. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very clear that there's a difference in ideology on, on how to handle this issue and, and how to move forward. And I think the federal government has been very aspirational uh, in what those numbers can look like and how they can service and, and ensure integration and, and, and jobs are, are, are being found for, uh, for those that are here. Um, Disappointed but not surprised. This was talked about often during the campaign, and uh, and I think we were all expecting something to come. Um, I will say I was heartened that more of the messaging was about making sure that uh, that those uh, the immigration uh, that's already taking place, uh, that the resettlement is uh, is getting the, the attention that it needs. Um, but the number of 20% seems very arbitrary. Um, I understand it's a transitional plan, uh, and that that could change um, uh, once uh, sort of back logs and, uh, and those other pieces are, are taken care of. But I think this is going to be really difficult uh, in negotiation because they're only responsible for uh, economic uh, immigration, not necessarily family reunif reunification uh, uh, or refugees. And, and that's where the, 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 uh, the work with the federal government is going to need to come into play. Stockwell, do you think the federal government will have any choice but to acquiesce to what Quebec is asking for? Well, quite rightly, uh, Quebec has the right to determine their own levels. They fought for decades for that right. They actually led provinces in that particular area. So the federal government can't just simply impose something there. Uh, I agree with, uh, um, with Tiffany in terms of if, if immigrants are not being integrated well in, then you may need to take some time to see how you can improve it. But 20% is a big reduction, especially when there is a real employment need in Quebec federal government, if they were being uh, sincere on this, they would 
uh, get back to some of the rates they, that were previously in place for some of the good programs for immigrants. There's an investor immigrant program which is available to provinces which allows immigrants to come in who are going to invest in a business and hire people. That would be a, a good thing to do to get that program working in a more robust way. But uh, this was something that they promised they'd do in the election. Democratically, they have the right to do it. And as I said, Quebec has fought hard for the right to determine their immigration levels, so the Prime Minister can't do anything. But I would like him to, see, to uh, move on some of the federal levels where we could see um, immigration happen more properly. And the, the last point is, if you are allowing, as a federal government, illegal immigration to happen, we all support legal immigration and at generous levels. But when you allow illegal immigration, Unfortunately, that brings resentment among a good part of the population in terms of immigration overall. So the federal government has got a couple of things to fix in their own backyard before they point at Quebec. How much do you think that factors into this, uh, Katie? And I think that, I mean, technically, they're not, you know, the people immigrating are not illegal, but the action, they're asylum seekers, but the action of crossing the border in between points of entry is against the law. Is against the law. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a huge issue that's been going on in Ottawa for a long time. Um, how does that, you know, is that influencing the sentiment in Quebec, or is there is there more to it? Well, something obviously is influencing that sentiment because Francois Legault won this election, uh, and he made this it was a very clear part of his election platform, um, and voters voted for it. And so um, this is absolutely no surprise. And so the, the federal government uh, doesn't win any battles when it, you know, this very freshly newly elected government made this a very clear platform in their election campaign. Uh, it doesn't do the federal government uh, any benefit to come in and try and fight with them. Um, it might, it, as uh, Francois said, it might work at uh, benefit them in other parts of the country. But you don't want to be starting any fights in vote-rich Quebec a year out from an election. So that is something that they've got to keep in mind. Tiffany, last word to you. Uh, well, I guess my last word is I, I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, that over time that that sentiment changes and that we'll get to a point where we're, we don't have to uh, pit these against each other, lower numbers in order to service uh, those that are already here or in line, that we can be aspirational and, and do both at the same time. And uh, and, and hopefully as those services uh, adjust, um, the, the Premier will agree with that. Do you think the conversation around um, irregular, illegal, uh, you know, definitely termed many things, migration is affecting the sentiment in Quebec? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. Uh, and uh, But I think that the tone of this announcement didn't factor that in in a way that uh, I, I, I almost expected for it to. And so I'm, I'm again hopeful that uh, there's there's a, an approach from this government that uh, will will be respectful of the differences and, and how public opinion of all of this shifts what, what we're able to do. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate your time. Thanks to the Power Panel, Tiffany Gooch, Stockwell Day, Francoise Boivin, and Katie Simpson.